So I got this question here and I wanted to give that a quick answer. I do get this question quite a bit because there's a little bit of misconception on this, um, even in just the wording. So, you know, what's the federal mandate on blocking a road? Uh, we have a train next to work that blocks uh, several days per week for more than two hours. Um, yeah, so essentially the, it's some, a road that's being blocked near them. And, and essentially, the first thing you need to realize is that it's not a federal mandate. Um, usually it's a state by state or sometimes it's even a county by county. And also it is fully dependent on the industries that are located near your work. Um, so if trains are dropping off cargo or picking up um, trains in that process, so if they're taking tankers out, if they're taking boxcars out, if they're replacing those things and there just happens to be a road close to where they're doing that work, a lot of times they'll have to leave their train on the main track, go in and do the work and then come back out and get it. And sometimes that takes an hour or two. Um, so that's, that's just something that happens. Outside of that, if it's, if there's no uh, industries in your area and they're not servicing anybody, the rule for this is that there has to be 300 feet between where the train ends and the railroad crossing begins. So normally if they're knowing that they're going to have to slow down up ahead, they'll stop 300 feet before the crossing and put the brakes on and just hang out until they get the all clear to keep moving forward. Um, if their train is going to block the intersection because of where they have to stop, so a lot of times what they'll do is they'll actually separate the train. So they'll separate the train and they'll push 300 feet this way and then they'll pull the rest of the train 300 feet on the other side so that it doesn't block that crossing. That's typically the way that it would work. Um, but my guess for your area, and, and this is just kind of spitball, and I'm guessing there's probably an industry that they service in there and they have a work order to be in that area for a specific amount of time uh, in order for them to get... Um, cargo trains or, or empty uh, coal cars or anything like that into where they need to go and they're servicing that industry in that process and it usually takes that amount of time that you're seeing them especially if it's happening over and over and over again um, outside of that the only reason we would block a crossing would be if the train went into emergency and they had to walk it to figure out what happened uh, outside of that my guess is probably 95 percent chance that they're servicing an industry where you are hope that helps